We are back in the Del Mar Life Kitchen with personal chef Paul Cullen, and uh, we just took some homemade pasta from Grandpa Mac. Yep, Harry, Harry and Orion. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've so been it's on the and it's amazing. Aww. I use it a lot in my uh, in-home dining events. Okay, yeah, so yeah. we let that cook for you about two and a half minutes, mm -hmm. so it should be ready. Yep. And this you had in the oven for a right. little bit. So, so that's the chicken cacciatore. So we're ready. We're ready yeah. to taste it. So we'll go ahead it. and drain it. Okay. And, uh, what this, uh, a misnomer about uh, pasta sometimes is that you put it in a colander and then you. Um, yeah, right, right there. Good. Yeah. So you put it in the colander and then rinse it. But no. Never ever ever rinse it. pasta because you want the uh, you don't want the starch rinsed right. away. Right. Okay. You know? So uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's really important not to do that. So. All right. And of course, we're going to have this recipe on our website, yeah. DelmarvaLife.com. Pour it right in there. Yeah, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? All right, stir it up a little yep. bit. And also, I gave you the recipe for the uh, the fall version too. So yes. You can give that to them also. Yes, yes. that's going to be on there as yep. well. Cool. So a little bit in the bowl. Oh, my goodness. Mm. You guys want to taste this? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's right. a silly question. Okay. <laughs> Is it hot? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. So I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to hold off for a moment because this is the kind of meal uh, you can eat and not really worry about the scary numbers on the scale because we are using chicken breast. But when you go on vacation, your healthy eating habits tend to run off the rails. Well, yeah, but it doesn't have to be that way. As 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus shows us, there are some easy ways you can stay fit on your trip. Vacation is a time to relax and enjoy yourself, but that doesn't mean you have to come home to a scary number on the scale. To stay on track, don't skip meals. If you do, you'll probably end up consuming too many calories. Instead, pack healthy snacks like fruits, veggies, and nuts to munch on throughout the day. But stay away from chips. A study found for every extra serving of potato chips people eat daily, they gain nearly two pounds every four years. Also, get moving, but you don't have to hit the gym. Try fun outdoor activities such as tennis, golf, surfing, swimming, or kayaking. Paddling on a kayak for an hour burns about 345 calories. Walking is also great exercise. Aim for 10,000 steps a day and you'll burn about 400 calories. And remember to stay hydrated. Sometimes you might think you're hungry when you're really just thirsty. Keep your hotel fridge stocked with bottled water. If you're going to drink alcohol, don't overdo it. Mixed drinks can contain 42% more alcohol per drink. Try beer, wine, or liquor with a splash of club soda instead. That's the best way. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're really serious about working out during your vacation, you can pack resistance bands with you and some workout DVDs. You can use them in your hotel room. You can also check out with a local gym to see if you can purchase daily or weekly passes. All right, so now we are going to taste the chicken cacciatore. Uh, personal chef Paul Collin has made for us, and this is the wine that goes with it. Yeah, I would do this. It's a uh, uh, Sangiovese from uh, Italy. In mm -hmm. fact, we're taking our group of 24 in October to this vineyard for a wine lunch. Really? Caselli di Bibiano. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Oh, I didn't pour it. Oh, it's still mm. early. Yeah, it's still mm. dark. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, and that also, you October. said you were playing this weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. Playing at the Milton Theater on uh, Saturday. 